Andrei Rilko Foundation for Health and Social Justice is a Russian non-governmental organization with a mission to promote and develop humane drug policy based on tolerance, protection of health, dignity and human rights. We provide health services to drug users in Moscow and advocate for their rights. One of our main focuses today is promotion of accessibility of substitution treatment with methadone and buprenorphine, which is internationally recognized as a main approach to a number of drug-related issues, but is illegal in Russia. In February, the website of our organization has been shut down by the registrator upon a written order of the Federal Drug Control Service, which stated that the website was promoting drugs. They later explained in a press statement that the reason to shut down the site was that it provided scientific information on substitution treatment. Just a short question. Um, in February, the Federal Drug Control Agency decided to ban a website of an NGO called the Andrei Rilko Foundation, an NGO working in HIV prevention in Moscow. I would like to ask Mr. Ivanov why the agency decided so. And uh, do you do you plan to change this decision in face of international criticisms? Сильно некий веб-сайт участвовал в программах распространения метадона как способ заместительной терапии. Но у нас сегодня метадон в соответствии с решением правительства является наркотиком запрещенным применением. Поэтому по большому счету сайт занимался распространением вещества, которое в России классифицировано как наркотик. Именно поэтому информация была направлена провайдеру, и провайдер принял решение в соответствии с законом, и сайт закрыли. То есть в целом идет некая дискуссия, связанная с внедрением так называемой метадоновой терапии, которая российскими специалистами сегодня не признается. К слову говоря, эта позиция разделяется многими странами, в частности США, с которыми мы плотно сотрудничаем. И с руководством Украины мы подробно обсудили эту проблему. Эта проблема лечения наркозависимых не решается. Более того, существенно возраста смертности людей, которые проходят эту так называемую терапию. А что касается закрытия сайтов, которые вовлечены в торговлю наркотиками, то это практика всех цивилизованных государств. No, we didn't distribute or sell methadone from our website, of course. The problem is that technically even the scientific debate on substitution treatment is illegal as it can be considered as drug propaganda. I could have of course said that I am outraged and shocked by the statement of Viktor Ivanov at the CND press conference, but the truth is that I'm not. It's kind of normal these days for a Russian high-ranking official to go out on public and just lie bluntly. Just look at our elections and you will understand. There is no accountability within the country for this official so they can say whatever poops up in their heads. We'll have to take this to the court and protect our professional dignity and the right to information in Russia. A Russian NGO, Andrei Rilko Foundation, whose website was banned by the Federal Drug Control Service. What do you think about this decision of the Russian authorities? We have been very concerned about that at UNAIDS and we have had discussions in UNAIDS on how best to support uh, that particular organisation because uh, we understand that it's very public health orientated and we do support um, that foundation in, in uh, ensuring that uh, they're not uh, persecuted or, or discriminated against. Closing down the website is a very regrettable uh, action that we all should uh, uh, try to get together to fight against this action. Well it's clearly a decision that goes against all principles of freedom of speech. Uh, um, but it's born out of a, uh, a Russian policy position, very strongly held by them, that they think that uh, any proposals around the treatment of drug addiction, any proposals around harm reduction, are a threat to their view of the drug problem and what to do about it. Uh, of course, we think they are very seriously mistaken in the approach they've taken, and they are, uh, they are overseeing a, a major HIV epidemic that could be avoided. I think civil society has debates with governments about what is the best way to go forward. You know, we can even debate the science and how we interpret the science. But I think Russians stand alone almost in lying, in just stating facts that uh, are not true. Mr. Ivanov, the Russian drug czar, repeat, repeatedly to told us that opiate substitution doesn't work according to the international experiences and evidences. How would you comment this statement? Well, the UNAIDS, uh, UNODC, 
uh, WHO technical guide has, states very clearly that uh, OST is one of the nine interventions which are known to be effective in uh, reducing HIV transmission and it's also known to be effective in uh, reducing demand for drugs and keeping drug users safe. And I think that's also now recently been uh, even further uh, highlighted in the Lancet series, uh, which then specifies the specific uh, three interventions which, if they were to be properly applied, would reduce HIV transmission amongst injecting drug users by 50% in five years, which is the commitment that all member states made uh, last year at the high-level meeting uh, on HIV and AIDS. Hello, I'm Lana Duyava. Uh, for Tribuna. Um, I was wondering, what is your personal take on methadone treatment? Methadone treatment uh, is one of the possible treatments. Uh, uh, or I, I would not uh, qualify methadone treatment as a, as a miracle treatment. Uh, there are some other ways, uh, some other uh, prescriptions, um, medicines which can be used, but uh, it can be useful in some cases. My personal opinion is that this should be an issue which is to be decided uh, uh, by experts, by doctors, in consultations with patients and, uh, and families, but not through political debates and uh, uh, political declarations. Do you personally approve of it or not? If it, I cannot improve, I am not a doctor, but if a doctor believes it could be useful, why not? Okay, thank you. That is an issue which cannot be decided through resolutions of the Commission, but rather through medical practices. He said that he does not support methadone because he thinks that the local doctors should decide to prescribe methadone or not. So he has no position on methadone. What do you think about this? I think that Mr. Fedotov plays all these political games. The methadone is widely used in the United States and other countries uh, throughout the world. It's got a, a tremendous success record. And to say that doctors can just prescribe this medication is ridiculous because in a country like Russia, it's explicitly banned and the Russians are against it. His responsibility is as the head of the agency, which is a co-sponsor of the UN AIDS program. And there is no lack of clarity from UN AIDS. There is a very clear agreement from the medical community, from the United Nations and the General Assembly that the heads of the co-sponsors of UN AIDS have to work together to pursue the agreed UN AIDS strategy. And in terms of drug users, the agreed UN AIDS strategy is to scale up needle exchange, uh, opiate substitution treatment and a range of other services to respond to epidemics. It's not unclear, it's fully proven by the evidence, it's fully approved by the General Assembly. Mr. Fedotov is, a, uh, is an executive of the UN system and he has a fundamental responsibility to pursue that mandate.